Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I don't have very much, very long to make this video, so I'm going to try to make it brief. There's been, you know, some still people running their fingertips on social media saying things about me that they think is true, but they really isn't true. As always, they just don't know what else to do with their time but to spread so many lies about me. First off, I wanted to say that it is in the Bible. It is in Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5. That says here. Acts 5. Then the captain went with the officers. Now let me see if I can keep my page from. And brought them without violence. For they feared the people. Lest they should be stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, saying, Did we not strictly command you not to teach in his name? And look, yet have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood to us. Peter said, Well, but Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom you murdered by hanging on a tree, him God has exalted on his right hand to be prince and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are his witnesses to the things. And so also the Holy Spirit, whom God given to those who obey him. So, I ought to obey God rather than man. Now, there are some people who says, well, doesn't it say in the Bible? Yeah, it does say in, Bi in the Bible that we ought to also obey the government. It's also right here in first, well, actually, Romans, excuse me, Romans 13. And it says, let Every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities who, that exist are appointed by God. But see, who is the authority in the United States? We elect. We elect, we elect senators, we elect representatives, and we elect the president. We elect in the United States of America. We do not have a king or queen who is an uh, absolute ruler or over the United States of America. But yet there are some 
Democrats that think they are rulers. We in the United States self-govern. We self-govern. That's why we have a Constitution of the United States of America. We self-govern. I, I, you know, I, I took history. I'm sure a lot of you people have took history throughout your lifetime in school and even in college, maybe. But, um... You know, the reason why, you know, they wanted to get away from England is because of the unfair taxes and unfair rules from the government. So we're a government of laws. But there are a lot of laws that's on the books that should not really be on the books. That are on the books for one thing and one thing only. And that is to rule, to take over and rule the people, those people who vote. Granted, there's a lot of people that are, well, too, too dumb really to know what's really going on. They're puppets on a string. But I'm not a puppet on anybody's string. I know my rights. I also know the laws. I also know, yes, some people may think I'm disobeying the law, but you know what? Laws can be changed, but not for the better. That's a problem. They're being changed to control. It's called the New World Order. It's all about control. It's not about the rights of the individual. It's about the rights of the ones that want to control. Take big business, for instance. Years ago, when I uh, was uh, a newspaper carrier, I... Uh, I had this poster that said on it, In our business, the customer is king. Customers make paydays possible. But flash forward today, Walmart. Businesses like Walmart are constantly cutting out product that, well, basically I like to buy. Like, for instance, the um, Crisco Blends Oil, they stopped selling that. They said there was enough people buying it. They was also selling this uh, Flushman's uh, Butter that I like to buy. Again... They said not enough people were buying it. Now this uh, foot lotion here, uh, foot and hand lotion for diabetics that I've been buying. I have two bottles of it. This is my first bottle. This was my second bottle. I still have some of it because I'd only use a little bit on my on uh, my toes and my, the balls of my feet. Again, I can't get it no more unless I order it on online. Walmart decided to stop selling it in the store. When is Walmart going to wake up and start uh, listening to people like me for once in their sorry lifetime? Who's paying their wages? Me. People like me that go there and buy stuff from them. I'm sick and tired of... A lot of people think I'm too, I'm stupid. I'm just, I'm just that and something else that they think I am. When they don't know nothing. The lie is going to stop. And Walmart, you're going to start selling stuff again that I want. 
I don't care what, you know, you think. Wake up, Walmart. I'm sick and tired of it. I wake up, people. I know the laws. I also know what's right and what's wrong. And you're, I'm not going to have someone like you, snot-nosed brats, tell me what is right and what's not wrong. A lot of you people go online and you're young, you're younger than me, you're a snot-nosed brat and you think you know it all. I'm sick and tired of it. You know who I'm talking about. That's enough for now. God bless you. Have a blessed day.